Welcome to Suladan Plays. You left me. Excuse me, music. I didn't expect that out of nowhere. Ooh. Very interesting. Uh, when it stops, my mouse leaves the window. It doesn't capture the mouse. But uh, that's interesting. Let's see. Put the music about right there. Text speed quality. Delete. Oh, the mask moves. I didn't notice that before. That's... Uh, I'm getting Literature Club vibes off of this, and I haven't even played that. Ah. Uh, click about. Story inspired by... Disso ooh, dissociative Amnesia. That's a... Ooh, that, that's, that's a thing. I, I don't have words for that. Let us go ahead and get started. 5-14-2018, a.m. Wake up, wait. Is that, that's the current date and my time minus two hours. Is that coincidental or does it just look at your current time and go to two hours prior? Or just go to whatever time it is, set it to 7 a.m. for that date. Like if it was 12.35 right now, would it still say 7.35 or would it say 10.35? I, as a programmer, I'm intrigued by this. But in any case, I forgot to read the caption for the game. You wake up in a different world. You have until nighttime to escape. Why are you here? You've forgotten something important, but what is it? Remember, before it's too late and you're lost forever. Let us click. Oh. Oh! Huh. I wake up in the same bed, but in a different world. I'm gonna be right off the top and say that this is gorgeous. Music seems slightly loud, and I'm gonna do a quick jump cut just to check that. Okay. It is, uh, it is not as loud as it seemed to me, so that's good. Okay, so I can, uh, I can wiggle wobble the camera around, and I click the text. But where am I? And why am I here? Hmm. Can I click the cat? I cannot. Oh. Whoa. Well, the moon clicks a 12-hour timer. What happens when night falls and time runs? Time runs out would uh, be a bit more apt. Although if you wanted to be really surreal about it, you could have an hourglass that's, you know, going up instead, and then you could say time runs up, but <laughs> usually we say time runs down or time runs out. How do we get out of here before then? Hey, well, hello. The cat is clearly the answer. Cyclops cat. Okay, hello, sir. You are a precious, precious cat. Uh, when the camera moves on this one, because it's so zoomed in, I can tell that it's a flat image. But it is still a precious cat. Around him, I feel comfortable. No need to pretend. Hmm. Well, that doesn't seem right, though. But I can't remember how he looks up close. <laughs> I haven't spent time with him, not since. <gasps> Pamper the cat. I can talk to the cat. Hello. Moo. What did I name my cat? I've had him for a while now, yet I can't remember. <laughs> Senor Waffles. I feel bad for this cat, but the other options were no better. Oh yeah, Senor Waffles. I'm pretty proud of that one. I thought of it myself. Hey, Senor Waffles, you pee everywhere, but I love you anyway. You know, you could have just gotten him fixed and he wouldn't be spraying, but... Yeah. Moo Moo Bork. Oh, good gracious, the cat. Cat's talking to me. My dude, you're awake. Good snug last night. Oh, good gracious. Now I'm picturing Jacksepticeye's voice. Uh, I'm not imitating that. I couldn't do it if I tried. I'm not good at imitating voices, even if I... Anyway. Uh. Scritch Scratch. 
<laughs> I will marry you plata platonatiocally. Love yoy, thank you. I I get their misspelling to be adorable. And is that a twin tailed cat? Did I not notice that before or is that Uh oh the webcam's hiding it. Yeah. Twin tails. Uh, I don't know if it was doing that before or if that's supposed to be, you know, animating that its tail is flicking. Sometimes one would show movement by showing, you know, the after image effect, but I assume we're going with the twin-tailed cat approach since we've already established that as a Cyclops cat, too. And it's 8.35 a.m., which is now desynchronized from the world, so who knows? It may have been a coincidence. Pat. <coughs> Howling cat. I'll leave you to sleep now, sir. But I don't- I wanted to ask him how to get out of here. Yes, mom, I stand. Hi, heart. Nay, you too. I think you're just making random noises. You're leaving? Already? Okay, love you. Please come back for purrs and snugs. Aww. Whoever wrote the text for this cat, I give you a 10 out of 10. Hmm. I want to say both. Love you too. I'm gonna go with that one. I can, he's sleeping again. Best not disturb him. Hmm. Refrigerator. How does the pancake wobble? These are the important life questions. White magnets read. <laughs> Clearly, we have summoned Cthulhu. They read, they read. I'm trying, but I can't read them. I see words, minds, but don't understand what mean a mess. Remember Swain's line. Where, whatever lane Swain is in is his lane. Just get out, go elsewhere, go hide in the jungle, what, what it, do whatever you're gonna do, but it's his lane. The sticky note has spoken. Give the girl some milk. I uh, can't tell what that's going on. And how does the pancake wobble? That's, oh wow, that's that's a glorious blur. This is an, a friend of mine and I were talking recently about motion blur and how you can overuse it in a game and make things horrible. And I said that there are certain, there is a time and a place to use motion blur where it adds to an experience and like anything you could overuse it. This is an example of Perfect usage of motion blur. I know it may not be classified as motion blur, but it's kind of, it's it happens when I move, so I'm calling it motion blur. This is a perfect example of how it's beautifully done because it 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 fits the experience and it adds to it. Try again. It. I don't know what's going on. I feel like my mind is working against me. It can't focus. It can't stop thinking about horrible things. I feel like I'm going crazy. Try again. After a few attempts, I get it. How does the pancake wobble? The magnets. I could have. I told you that at the start. First sticky note reads: Daily, daily reminder. I love you. From you know who. Not the Harry Potter kind. <laughs> yes, this message. The sticky note is from Voldemort. Ah. <laughs> uh, second note reads: reads. Remember Swain's Lane. Why? The third no reads, give this girl some milk. It's enough fridging for today. Look inside the fridge. Positive there's nothing. Look anyway. I find my keys. I thought I put them in my pocket. Well clearly your pocket is the freezer. And the freezer is your pocket. How did they get there? Did I put them there? Hmm. That's enough fridging for today. I can click me. I can talk to the moon. The moon rumbles. Well, how do you round up 37 sheep? Round to 40. Okay. My phone. Blank unseen text, blank missed calls. Oh, that's a cell phone. I thought it was a book light. I'm used to, like, when you see a light on the end of a flex thing, that it's a book light. 
I rarely look at my phone anymore. I try to forget about the memories it contains. And that's how you ended up here, isn't it? Get out of bed. Oh dear. Oh well, I thought that was the whole game. Well. What can I click here? Only the person. Where do I go? I need to escape this world before time runs out. Look outside. I hadn't noticed before now. Every day the bus passes the same flower field. You would have liked this. I wish I could show this to you. The flowers are gorgeous. I never learned to appreciate small things like these until you came along. Okay, that's, that's, that's all there is to that. We're going to Swain's Lane. Please let, please tell me Swain is there. We need more crows. I remember now. You died a while ago, and I've been denying it since. But you wouldn't want that, would you? Me, stuck in my head, living a fantasy. And there's so much more of a reality to explore. The cat you left me. The flower fields that pass the metro. Oh, we went. I loved you, you know. You left me behind. I don't blame you for leaving. Every day I wake up and think about joining you. Survive! Survive! And I'll keep living with the memories you gifted me without you. <gasps> Kitty! No. Kitty. Now what? What's that little black line up there? The three pixel thick. Oh, I didn't read the message that came before that. Dedicated to everyone. Who's lost anyone? Thank you for playing. Uh, this game does have five endings. Uh, I pre oh, you can't see that, can you? Boop. <laughs> There's a little black thing up here. It's it's like, well, now it's only one pixel. Oh, I think it's because I... Yeah, see, there it is. Look at it. There's three pixels. I mean, it's three pixels thick and it's a stair-step pattern. Uh, the game does have five endings, but since I got what I consider a very positive ending on the first try, I'm going to kind of hedge my bets and stop there. <laughs> With my luck, the other four will each descend further into, my, into like negative territory, or I'll actually summon Cthulhu or something. Uh, this game is free on Game Jolt, and as always, I'll put a link in the description. Each playthrough is rated as roughly 5 to 30 minutes long. And, uh... I didn't see that part. A dark, funny, surreal game about loneliness and loss. Come with, comes with chat speaking, cyclopic cat, and a moon that tells dad jokes. That is glorious. I, that had to be read. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. It, it's really beautiful. The art style is gorgeous. The quality of the uh, the camera movements, I guess, I'll sum, sum that up as the animation and camera movements is glorious. Whoever wrote that cat's text needs an award. Give them a bucket of popcorn or something, I don't know. Uh, it, it is just a be really beautiful game, and it touches on some really deep topics. Uh, I can't recommend it highly enough. You know, Go f check out the other four endings. Go find the other four endings. It is free. It is version 0 0.5.4, and as of today, the 14th, it was released 14 days ago. If this was 2014, I could say in 2014 on the 14th, 14 days ago, but meh. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and call this game here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next game.